Hello and welcome to the set of The Invitation. I'm Gary Payton, I'm directing The Invitation, uh, which is a fine art production and acting on Impulse short film. I'm Lauren, I'm the producer of The Invitation. I set up Acting on Impulse in 2007 through something that happened on the streets um, by the suit bands that inspired me to work with people with genuine homeless experience or that kind of background. The Invitation is our first time doing anything comedy. <laughs> so it's a really new challenge and we've also got quite a lot of new actors. Short films are always quite hard to get together but with this we are working with people who aren't trained um, who have all sorts of different issues and backgrounds um, but to me that makes it all the more exciting. It's helped me a lot. Part of the homeless situation, what I've been through. I'll have to keep doing it on and on and on. Here's my girlfriend, she just got married, we got a date later, don't tell your old man, alright? <laughs> Look at that! The way I got involved with Action Impulse was one day Lauren come down to the suit van and she said, would you like to do any drama? Bit of a stranger on that one, but we've not been approached like that before, so I thought, yeah, go for it! it gives me a hobby to do! Steve Brown, who plays uh, the, the father, Jason, um, he told me about it, and I said, "Yeah, I'm up for it. I'll go. I'll go for it. You know, see what it's like. I've loved it since." So the invitation itself is a comedy drama, and it's revolved around the group of most unlikely people who are trying to make their way to a wedding, and. On their journey, their adventure to the church, lots of things happen, twists, and it makes you think, okay, things aren't really going to plan, and are they actually going to get to the wedding on time or not? I'm playing bride, but I'm not really. I'm just doing her, being her double for the driving scene, because she can't actually drive. We can see Lauren quite clearly. Yeah, I know. Uh, Monus is broken, so we've got 20 minutes to get to a 15 minute place and fix it. Missing key for a generator. <laughs> I think it's gone right, I think it's a pretty good bit this bit is. I'm a little bit worried because we are now behind time again. But it's not good because we've got so much to do today. We really need to get this dump scene done out of the way early. With the non-actors, what it teaches you is that you have to have a lot of patience um, to get the performances right because they won't always know that hitting the marks is absolutely essential or things like that. Uh, clear that's way too far, that's not what we talked about. With the retakes and Gary, it's all about precision. You know, it's got to be perfectly right, it's got to be absolutely excellent for it to work. We shot this uh, scene yesterday, I think it was, and we had a uh, donkey car in front of the car, so we had to obviously get a reverse shot of um, the character driving the car behind. Never driven before, so look a bit nervous. Yeah, cool. Lovely. Number one rule of towing, keep the tow rope taut. How was it? Oh, scary. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought I was going to be here much longer. So we managed to get Dave Spikey and Neil Fitzmorris involved, which is fantastic. Not just to kind of pull more of an audience, but also for the guys to work with people like that. Um, it's been a real boost and a good giggle. And I got the script through, I just played with it a little bit and made him a bit creepy. So I'm going to wear glasses, I've got my hair done like that, I'm going to wear glasses, I'm going to be a bit like, oh I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what with Dave, it took me at ease settled my nerves because I seen he was nervous. And that's what Dave did for me, yeah. My name is Neil Fitzmorris and the part I'm playing is Alec who is the, he's like a team leader of uh, AA, and AA meeting, Al Alcoholics Anonymous. My particular story led to the death of my best friend, Jane. Absolutely amazing, like I think everyone is just like all following along and um, doing their bit to get uh, everything done. Really.
Acting impulses help me to get likes of self confidence, being able to take a step from chasing drugs every day to go to doing something and something that I'm enjoying. It, it's not about people becoming actors or becoming great actors, it's about giving people an understanding of what it means to do something and to achieve something and, and to be proud of yourself, to build your, their self esteem. And I think that's. That's what acting on impulse does for people, really. It, it shows people that they are worth something. It gives them a purpose, um, it gives them something to be committed to, and at the end of the day, something to be really, really proud of when they watch it. And it brings you back to the life of new doors. And every time Lauren texts me, she's just opened another door. Now and again, there's something that just catches your eye, and you think, oh, that's a great idea, you know, what a good idea to take. I want to thank Sue and Lauren and David and the rest of the film crew and everybody else who's given me this chance to do something positive. Oh, you seriously still filming? <laughs> <laughs>